he's 100% natural because he only put on 40 pounds in a year. Anyone can do that. Coach Greg, and today, a Natty or Not video on ever popular Matt Does Fitness. This guy is extremely popular now. He's getting 13 million views a month. He's probably bringing home about $350,000 from ad revenues, okay? 350,000 followers on Instagram extremely good body super good looking cool accent super athlete in his past and just all around amazing and a great channel to watch and i do watch his videos and i'm highly entertained and he was a former power lifter and now he's not into powerlifting. He's basically into bodybuilding, but he doesn't want to compete. So he's a pretend bodybuilder, but that let's, that doesn't matter. That's fine. That's cool. He wants to look good. He is sponsored by Jim Shark. It's the Natty or Not video. He's sponsored by Jim Shark, guys. All right. So I actually made a video about this before and I took it down. Why did I take it down? Did I change my mind on what I thought? No, but... He called me and he wrote me and he gave me several voice messages describing how some of the information I had got wrong. Was it my fault? No. He posts videos on YouTube and they're misleading. Okay. So he did point out that he exaggerated some of the, the weight that he had gained. It was early on in the YouTube career and it looked cooler sounded cooler to post or fudge a bit of numbers i'll get into all of that and i am going to present his reasons why he is natural he told me look greg i am 100 percent natural and i said to him no you are not and here is why and i sent him pictures described it it's going to get into great detail you can at the end decide Am I right or him right? I don't know. I'm not his friggin' brother. I'm not him. I don't know. For all I know, he's the one in a billion that could have done it on his own. There is a one in a billion chance. So for example, right now, my hand on why he is not natural is I have four kings and I'm playing poker. There's a chance the guy across from me has four aces. There might be ace ace on the next two cards. There's a chance. Is it high? No, it's so small. I'm going all in that he's not natural. I'm going to explain every detail as to why he says he's natural, his evidence and proof. And then I'm going to explain mine and we'll see which makes more sense. So let's get right into it. I need to point out I am not his surgeon, his doctor, nor his endocrinologist, nor am I his wife, lifetime partner, training partner, or social media advisor. I am nothing. I am just some dude in a tank top with some striations. Yes! Right? So I'm just a guy. But I know a shit ton about this stuff. And I can't wait to explain it. I just, I'm pumped for this. Some of the reasons why he's not on steroids. He has a wife and his wife, quote, would divorce him, he told me, if he, if he was to take steroids. So that happens all the time. Uh, well, the wife would divorce the girlfriend. I have a kid, so I'm not, I'm not on steroids. Why would I risk my family? For $350,000 a year in ad revenue for a Gymshark sponsorship, which would pay more than that, for a half a million dollars a year probably in total income, for fame, popularity, notoriety, ego, and so on. And how do we know if the wife is for or against it or if she would actually divorce him or not? And am I saying he's on test 10 D-ball DECA? No, he might be only on small SARM. We don't know. I'm just saying he's not natural. Doesn't mean he's on trend. You know, so you can't just say, well, my wife would divorce me. And so that's why I'm natural. That doesn't, I don't buy that. A lot of guys have wives who are on steroids. A lot of guys have kids and families 
and are still on steroids or PEDs. I'm not even saying he's on steroids. I showed him pictures of his nipples and I, I, I don't want to sound odd or weird, but I put together a collage of his Instagram pictures that he had posted. I put them side by side and was like, what in the world am I looking at? Why does every freaking nipple picture look different? What is going on with this guy? And I came to the conclusion, maybe he had gyno surgery. I'm not his surgeon. I don't know. But the scarring looked different in different photos. It was certainly for sure Photoshop. If you see the pictures, you can't deny it. You can't. What was his response? His response was, well, when it's cold, it's like it changes it. Last I checked, temperature doesn't swish or make lines or scarring or make your nipples look weird and different. It makes your balls friggin' curl up. It doesn't affect your nipples. Maybe it makes the nipple pointy, but it doesn't make you look completely, and I mean completely different. His nipples, his area around the nipple are very swollen and puffy in several of his pictures. So the nipple thing alone, as you know, a sign of steroid use or basically too much test conversion to estrogen is gynocosmastia. I might be pronouncing it wrong. I don't care. Don't comment on that. I think he has some kind of gyno development or at least flare ups, puffier nipples. Maybe he brings it back down with Nolva or Remedex, whatever. I've seen flared nipples, puffy and swollen nipples, obvious sign of steroid use. Yeah, you're going to come in, but is it a teenager? Shut up. Yeah, we know it can happen as a teenager. Is he a freaking teenager? He's in his 30s. Shut up. It happened later than his teens. When he was a teenager, he had a zero gyno, a zero puffy nipples, and he was a zero muscular guy. He was a skinny little boy. It wasn't like he had freak genetics and he was like 15 years old and jacked and then he grew up if he was if he had showed me pictures of himself as a 15 year old and he had a lot of muscle and he had his current physique now i'd be like hey man dude just has hard genetics great genetics alien dna and he freaking put on that muscle natural he was a scrawny guy i'm gonna get more into that so many videos to go over so much detail there's a video Three year, it's okay. The video on YouTube is called Three Year Natural Body Transformation. I'm not making it up. It's called Three Year Natural Body Transformation. He posted it. If he's going to debate and say it's made up, that's on him. I'm going by the facts of the video. I can't say, oh, he lied about it. It's facts on his video. I don't care if his videographer made it, it's on his account. You can go watch this video. All right. In three years, this is what happened. At the end of 2012, he suffered a devastating back injury. He could no longer perform athletics. That means his triple jumping career was over. He laid around for a couple of months and stopped fearing sorry for himself and decided, I am going to bodybuild again and work out and get muscles. Yes. Okay, so he had a debilitating back injury to the point of not being able to exercise. And then what happened? He started off at 170 pounds. I'm not making this shit up. It's in his freaking video. He stopped triple jumping and started working out. In the next 12 months, that is a one year for those of you who don't understand math or a calendar. There are 52 weeks in this year. He says, I am not making the shit up that he added 40 pounds of muscle in that year. 40, not four, not 14, 40. 40 pounds in a year. He went from little skinny guy to like not quite my size, but getting there. 40 pounds in the year. He admittedly says, well, he exaggerated a little bit. So how much did he exaggerate? But I don't know. Let's say he exaggerated by 10 pounds. He only gained 30 pounds in the year. 30 as a natural. It took me 10 years to put on 30 pounds of muscle. And half of the comments of you guys don't even believe I was natural. So half of you think I was never natural. And it took me 10 years to build what he did in one. 
So unless he has 10 times better genetics than me, you decide if he's natural or not. I'm not gonna tell you if he is or not. He's 100% natural because he only put on 40 pounds in a year. Anyone can do that. Come on. What was his lifts when he started? 353 pound squat. I'm quoting these numbers, so this time I won't get them wrong. He said I got his lifts wrong last time, so I took the video down because I didn't want to spread bullshit. I want factual videos. His bench press was 276 pounds and his deadlift was 397. Then it went up to 562 in the squat, 391 in the bench, and 573 in the deadlift. It's not clear whether that's a three-year progress, one year, two years. So I'm going to assume it's three to give him the benefit of the doubt. Are those big gains in three years? Yes, they are. They're huge gains. And guess what? That's not just on 40 pounds. He states in the video he has gained an extra 20 pounds after that first year. So in three years, three, he gained six pounds I mean 60 pounds in three years it's not all muscle okay let's say half of it was fat which it wasn't let's say he exaggerated which he didn't exaggerate that much it's still an insane amount of weight to gain in three years natural if he said hi guys my steroid enhanced my SARM enhanced my PUD using three-year transformation and posted the results, I would be like, wow, he made amazing gains for only using steroids for three years. Okay, so how I see it is this. Even if he was on steroids, his gains were phenomenal. So then to say he did it natural, that's like saying you as a natural improve with more muscle than somebody who takes steroids. You don't believe me? Take the stupid steroids or SARMs yourself. Do not take them without the advice or recommendation of a doctor, however. Do not do steroids. Do not do PDs. Never take steroids. Never break the law. Never cheat. Never do anything bad. And never get cancer or do anything bad in your life ever. Now, let's make be clear on that. But if you were to do what he did or to enhance yourself, I'm willing to bet 95% of you will not put on 60 pounds in three years. And let's say you exaggerate it's only 40. 90% of you are not putting on 40 pounds in three years. So his total went to 1,500. He got seventh place at the British Powerlifting Championships. And that would have been at the end of 2015. And guess what? Are those the best lifts he ever had in his life? No, that's on the platform. That's not in the gym. After his best lifts, basically, he had said he had did 310 kilograms in the deadlift. I didn't actually see the video of this. I did see him do an easy 625, but he did say a 310 kilo deadlift, which is close to 685 pounds. And his squat was 585 and his bench 180 kilos, which is around 400. So that's what he's basically saying that he did. That's what he wrote to tell me he did, okay? That's, I still have the freaking information. So if he calls bullshit, it's saved on my phone. So don't try to say I made up this shit. A lot of people think I'm lying. I am not here to lie or to spread a lie. I'm just calling it like I is. And this is my opinion based on the information I was presented. Okay, another argument to say why he's natural. He took a drug test and passed. I mean, certainly that goes in his favor. Having passed a drug test, that means the day he did his lifts on the powerlifting meet, he was not on steroids on that day. It does mean that. So he's pulled 685 on the deadlift, but in the meet, he only deadlifted 573. Um, so his performance in the gym was much better than on the platform where he was drug tested and passed. So what... What would I argue as what would happen? You can take test suspension for 51 weeks straight, stop for a week, take a drug test and pass. What I'm telling you, I'm not telling you how to cheat a drug test. I'm saying it's possible to take steroids for 51 weeks of the year 
and pass the drug test with one week of stopping. Test suspension has to be injected once or twice a day. And a side effect would be like puffier nipples, guy on the whole thing. But it does show that you could take steroids and pass. You could take Ativar for 11 months of the year and stop for a month and pass. Should you? No. Don't try to cheat drug tests. Don't try to pass drug tests when you should Blah, blah, blah. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm saying that a lot of people do, in fact, do this and cheat drug tests. So if you're tested once in your life and passed, it doesn't mean you're natural. I actually passed 14 drug tests in a row. Now, I was actually natural at the time, but that's besides the point. If you're only drug tested once, then, well, does that mean anything? Every single time I broke a world record, Canadian record, whatever, I had to actually pay out of my pocket for these records to count officially. So when I was younger, I started breaking records at 22 and two or three times a year, I was paying money, paying for the drug test to prove I was natural because I was lifting a lot of weight and people doubted it. And for the record to account officially, you had to pay and pass a drug test. So I did that, okay? So I'm just saying, it's possible to pass a drug test, you know, especially one time. If you're drug tested out of meat and you don't know the drug test is coming, that's when you likely are going to fail. He took a testosterone test. This is like the natty verified type test, okay? So you can go and get your doctor and you go and get your test levels checked. And I've seen a lot of people do this. Keon, for example, he was not happy with me when I said that I knew he was a natural, blah, 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 and the whole thing. So... What was the results of Matt Does Fitness's testosterone test? Well, in the US conversion, 330 nanograms per deciliter. What's the normal reference range? Well, around 250 to 800, say. It's debatable. Some people will say higher or lower. Bottom line, his test levels are on the low end of normal. So he says, well, obviously I'm not steroids because if I was on steroids, my test levels would be through the roof or they would be crashed and shut down because it would have suppressed my natural production of testosterone. Is that true? No. So that's complete bullshit. So here's an educational point for you all. Okay. If you take Tren or Anivar, it's not going to make your test levels go up. If you take Rad140, LGD, S4, Osterine, it's not going to make your test levels go up. It will make them go down. So say you're a normal guy with like really good testosterone, 700, 800, and you go on a rad 140 cycle, you're probably going to be suppressed slightly and get into the 300 range. So if you did a drug test for your testosterone levels while on SARMs, you'd probably come back in the 300s. So in Matt Does Fitness's case, it is possible, it doesn't mean it is true, that he was on a SARM cycle, that it suppresses test levels down into the 300s. And so he came back with low normal testosterone levels. And this is while taking performance enhancing drugs. That could easily be explained, okay? That's easily what could happen. So it doesn't mean you're natural just because your test levels are low. Does it make more sense that he made 60 pounds of gains in three years natural with below normal test levels, as in shitty test levels, not good test levels, shitty. Does it make more, nat more sense that he was natural while putting on 60 pounds? Let's say exaggerate, it's only 40. It's still a shit ton. Even 20 pounds in three years would have been amazing. What makes more sense? That he was taking a SARM or some other performance enhancing drug, suppressed his test levels a little bit, and he made these gains, or he made these gains while having shitty test levels. I mean, if the test levels came back and they were 900, and you're like, well, dude, it's just got freak genetics, high testosterone levels. He put on all this muscle because he was on um, just, he's naturally producing a lot of tests. And so he grew more because he's a supreme specimen of an athlete. That would make more sense. But to come back and say, I have low test levels and I gained a crazy amount of muscle. So I'm natural. Highly suspicious. Highly suspicious. On the Canadian scale, it came at 11.4, which is actually what his numbers are. 11.4 sucks donkey balls. 8.8 .8 is the level that a Canadian doctor would need to prescribe HRT. 11.4 um, sucks. 28 would be kind of where you want to be. My doctor wanted me at about 18 because my endocrinologist doesn't want me on a super physiological dose of testosterone. Blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. His less test levels were quite low. You can be on a small amount of tests. So 100 milligrams of test a week, 50 milligrams of test a week, just enough to keep you in the normal range, okay? 
But on top of that, take Tren and Deca and Anivar and all these other drugs, GW, MK677, GH, and have normal testosterone levels, but yet be jacked to the gills, okay? So just having test level checks, tests means a zero. He had another point. Well, I'm natural because why, he said this, why would I take drugs if I did, why do I eat McDonald's four times a week? So if you know this guy, he basically promotes binge eating and eating like shit and showing you can get away with it. And it sucks because you know I'm against bulking and all that stuff. But he's a naturally ripped dude. And so he gets away with eating shit and not getting fat. He admittedly only goes to about 15% body fat and then he cuts a bit and he's 10%. And he says he doesn't carry fat on his abs and his arms so it makes him look leaner than he is. He tries to downplay his physique. He says he's not that built. His legs aren't that good. Look, the dude is freaking built everywhere. Back, biceps, shoulders, abs, chest, legs, the total package. I made a comment saying Mike Thurston's legs sucked. They do suck compared to his upper body. This guy, Matt does fitness legs, do not suck. They look awesome. He could compete in classic physique because his legs are certainly not downsized. Mike Thurston could do men's physique with board shorts to cover up his legs and would do well there. This Matt does fitness looks incredible everywhere. Another reason that Matt does fitness says he's natural is because well, he wasn't eating a lot and training for the triple jump. And so his training wasn't that hard or serious in terms of the weights. Like he was squatting, but not like focused on it. And so that was keeping him small. And then so when he stopped, he able to put on a lot of muscle. Okay, newsflash people. People who train for athletics, triple jump, high jump, whatever jump running you're training for power and you have fast twitch muscle fibers slow twitch muscle fibers would mean you'd be good at like 10k and marathons and stuff like that fast twitch this dude was a sprinter and all this if you look at pictures of him at 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 he never had an incredible physique he even talks to about it himself he says you know I thought I had decent muscle, but looking back, I wasn't really built at all. So he never really had that foundation. So to argue and say, admittedly, he says, I have a pretty ectomorphic physique, a little bit on the muscle morph size, quite ectomorphic. And so, and then I put on all this muscle. That doesn't make sense. If you are a guy that's genetically blessed to grow, the chances are you are going to be jacked as a kid you are going to be the biggest kid in your class. Like when I was in grade two and we would flex our biceps, I, I had the biggest arms in grade two by a lot. When I was in grade eight, I could do twice to triple the push-ups of everyone in my class. It was obvious I had a shit ton of muscle as a 13 year old. When I was 13, I bench pressed 232 pounds and I weighed 120 something. I looked muscular. Like if you saw me as a swimmer with my shirt off as a kid, I had muscle. Like I was genetically like, I don't want to say gifted, but like certainly above average genetics for building muscle. This guy didn't have above average genetics. So his argument to say he was ectomorphic, in fact, goes on to say how it would even be harder for him to put all that muscle on natural. Another thing that made me think, yeah, he's covering it up, is he says, quote from him, there are not many fake natties on the internet. <laughs> he literally says there's only about three or four and we know who they are. I'm not naming names because I don't want to get in trouble, he said. I, uh, there's only three or four fake natties on the internet. Well, that's just fantastic. That just made my day. I mean, come on. If that doesn't sound like something a comment from a fake natty would say, I'm a fake natty. No, most of those guys are, they're natural. You guys think they're not. No, it's like, come on. You're defending them because you're one of them. That's just how it would make sense. It would be like me making a video saying, 
steroids are good for you and healthy and they don't lower your death and don't low i'm on steroids myself so i'm gonna make a video saying they're safe but i don't even do that steroids are gonna kill you man it's not safe so it's just stupid he actually said this so according to him there's three or four fake daddies on the internet let's assume <laughs> michael hearns won so what there's two or three left who we got i didn't want to name names i have people ask me to do natty or not videos roughly 20 people are named a day on average and i usually choose ones that have had at least a hundred requests so if if i did a natty or not video on you it means you're super popular and people don't think you're natural because at least a hundred people have asked for this okay that's just fact he's currently just training to look good so he lost some weight got leaner his strength went down he wasn't focused on powerlifting. he's more focused on like looking good and like focused on youtube it's a full-time career i would not be shocked he's making half a million dollars a year so good on him why in the freaking world would he say he's not natural if he's making a half a million dollars a year maybe it's not even legal in his country i don't know am i saying he's on test trend deca d ball no i'm not even saying he's on steroids what i'm saying is if i had to bet a million dollars or if i had to bet my life on it i would bet that he's taken performance enhancing drugs in the past maybe he's not on them right this minute maybe not but I would bet my life that he's taken something at some point to get the, the body that he's had right now. Do I think he's on crazy, stinking high doses? No, I don't even think it had to have been steroids. I think he could have taken just SARMs, just SARMs alone. I think he could have gained the muscle that he gained. Trust me, small doses of stuff with pretty decent genetics you can accomplish a lot. It's not like this dude is like Ronnie Coleman. He's not 285 pounds. I think he's at, I'm, I don't know for sure. I think he's like 210 pounds and like 10% body fat or something. Like I'm 194 and like 7%. So he's taller than me, of course, but he's big, you know, and he has a good body. He's not re redonkulously huge, but I don't think it's natural. I'm not going to say exactly what he's taken because I don't know. I don't know if he's natural right now or not, but you be decide. I presented some facts, some arguments. I'm telling you what he said in his own videos. If you want to say he's natural and he did it natural and I'm jealous, then that's totally cool. He's natural. That's awesome. Am I personally jealous? No. Do I want to be as popular as him? Yes. Would I like to be as good looking as him? Yes. Do I want to be taller? Yes. Do I want his abs? Yes. Do I want his legs? No, mine are better. Do I want his biceps? Yes, he has better biceps than me. I'm not a hater. I just calling it like I see it with a hundreds and hundreds of people requesting the video. I felt I should do it again. And the fact I took the video down the last time I only took it down because I had said the gains he'd made were in a year because when I watched the video, it sounded like it was in a year, but now I'm hearing it's two or three years, okay? So that's it. If you want to see more Natty or Not videos, one's right there, one's right there. Click the subscribe button. Click the bell button to get notified. Watch all my videos. Watch them. GregDuset.com for coaching. GregDuset IFBB Pro Instagram. Until next time, I am out.